And last but not least, we have our observer peripheral people, the right, right storyline. And it is all about surrender here. It's all about allowing everything to unfold for you. Very future oriented. Remember, when you're looking at the variable mapping, the left is aligned with the seven centered strategic. The right is aligned with the uh, nine centered future, what's to come. So these are not raves, but they're the closest things we have to them. The right right is connected to the future, future beings, future orientation. So when you're looking at somebody who has right right as a storyline, as all of our yellow people do, what you're looking at is that this is a life that's intended to embrace our modernness or what we are as nine centered beings, these nine centered vehicles that we have currently still in transition. Homo sapien in transit, as Ra would call us, since we haven't reached uh, the 2027 mutation. So this is automatically, diametrically opposed to those people who are left left as a storyline. Left left people can keep a connection to the seven centered way of life because that is part of what they're living in this life. The left left beings. Hi, that's me, left left. Strategic, that's my life. Busy, active, focused. But when you're looking at the right right, this is not true that you are oriented towards the 90,000 years of seven centeredness. It's a, it's a unique vehicle, especially over here, these arrows. It's a mutation, it's new, it's different. The right is far more conditioned than the left because the right is the new and our whole government schooling society is all oriented around the left and this is a being whose time is to come it's not really here yet we don't service or or uh, support people who are this passive this much of an observer this receptive in this peripheral to be on the extreme side you know the quad right so there's a left dominated world that we still all very much are part of that we live in and the way our children are educated the way our job descriptions are the, the way that we're designed to uh you know earn our keep all of that and the way that these things on the material plane operate it's almost exclusively strategic one of the complaints about our ihds coursework is that it's very, very, very strategic. And I've had, you know, quad rights come through having a real difficulty with some of the activities, which is why I say, hey, you do you. You don't have to do what I tell you to do. You do your authority. And if I assess that you are doing enough, that, that it, you are correct in your ability to be an analyst, I am not gonna hold you to a specific level of homework, as an example, or requirement for being tested. Tests are very strategic. It's not the same thing for a, a right variable. This is a left dominated world. There's only deep, 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 deep conditioning for the beings who are strongly right. And this is a strongly right storyline. Why these colors are the way they are is because of the connectivity that you have to the independent variable, your life story. So receptive people have only in the last couple of centuries begun to be recognized as you could say, sort of arty, creative, something different. We're dealing with a right environment here. <laughs> so this is where it's really difficult. You can see we have an old fashioned brain body system, a strategic mind, and oh my goodness, the environment is very much out of touch with that. So it's very different. Receptive, right, environment, observer, and peripheral. So a right being is designed to 
take advantage of watching their environment. Their environment actually feeds them. You remember how when we talk about um, dietary regimen, it's not just what you take in food-wise, but it's also your exposure to people, information. Your environment, if you are a right, right storyline, your environment nourishes you, it feeds you. But for me as a left environment person, this is where I do my thing. That's very different. The environment itself is actually uh, pointless in the sense that I'm just doing my own thing and I am not paying attention to what's going on around me. <laughs> I'm so focused. I can't even see on this wide screen that I have comments happening on one side of the screen. <laughs> I'm so focused. I don't know what's going on around me. I can tune it out pretty well. I've got my noise cancellation headphones pretty darn well. So environment is very pointless, but right, right being, that's different. It's something that you're taking in very deeply. Remember the keynote of rightness is receptivity, where you're, you're taking things in on a very, very deep level to the, to the point where you're taking in frequencies, not, not just sounds and smells. It's, it's, it's so much more than that. Your processing is sensitive. So a right being being an observer cannot be distracted by their own activity. This is the different, the quality difference. The quality of the activity in the right environment is one that has to not really take a lot of attention. It's not left that needs to be focused on something. It's right. It's just a natural flow. So if you're going to be right, right as a storyline in this life, what you're actually doing with your time, it doesn't matter. Not in the same way that the left does. Now, what Ross says about this, if you have any reaction to that, it's because you've grown up in a world conditioned by the strategic left, where what you do does define you. Here, what you're doing doesn't define you. Being more relaxed. Yeah, in the environment itself being relaxed, kick back, no stress. So if you've got a combination of observer and peripheral, who's also got an undefined root center or totally open root center, you know that they are not designed to have high stress job or deadlines. That's not correct for that kind of thing being. This is the, one of the most beautiful things about rightness and its relationship to where we're going. You cannot live the purity of a right storyline unless you've surrendered completely to your vehicle. Your mind is going to drive you crazy otherwise. To have a right, right storyline is about surrender, allowing everything to unfold for you. And it doesn't mean that anything you have to do at any time in order to provide for yourself is something that uh, defines you because it truly doesn't matter. As long as it's something that you've opened yourself up to through strategy and authority. When you enter into the right thing correctly, what you do does not matter. It's not the point for you because the point for you is that you're taking things in an extraordinarily deep level. Ultimately, you're seeing things in a way that no one else can see. You're seeing things that no one else can attune to because only you can see what you're seeing where you be in that relaxed environment where you're not being distracted away because you're seeing peripherally, right? Right storyline is you're absorbing and you're allowing life to come to you. The magic of being a right, right being is life coming to you. The one thing you don't have to be concerned with the moment you're following your strategy and authority is where your life is taking you because it's taking you precisely where you need to go. All you have to do is sit back and do what you do best, which is take in as an observer the entire periphery of the experience.